move back up to agenda item number three, the City of Ahara case with the final action being held at the City of Ahara Mayor and Council on Thursday, October 3rd, 2013. Um, Mr. Chairman, the City of Ahara has canceled their October meeting. Okay. So that public hearing is scheduled for Thursday, November 7th. All right, Thursday, November 7th. Case number HA 2013-03. So while Mr. Davenport's pulling up the multimedia here, this is a request by Gerald Light for variances from the City of Hank Harbor Zoning Ordinance as it pertains to um, accessory buildings and cumulative size thereof and residential property. Um, property is currently zoned R15. It is located at on South Church Street. Um, it's just a little bit more than a half acre of land. And in your package, you see the maps of the zoning, the aerial image. This is an older home that has been there a long time. Um, the applicant owns some of the surrounding properties. And here you see a picture of the house and some of the properties around it, including a large field across the street. And then more importantly, the site plan it shows the existing dwelling unit. It shows a series of existing accessory buildings in the yard. Um, in the middle left, you see sort of a hatched area. Um, the diagonal lines that is proposed, a detached garage that the applicant is wanting to add. Um, the Hay Harbor Zoning Ordinance allows a maximum of 800 square feet in cumulative accessory buildings. So that could be one of eight at 800 square feet or two to 400 or anything up to eight. Um, these buildings have been here a while and there's currently over a thousand square feet of accessory buildings, so it's already not boring. So adding a detached garage simply increases the non-conformity. Um, variances are based on hardship, as you know. We occasionally have to look at variances in Heihara, and there's no hardship that warrants the addition of a new accessory building, so staff is recommending denial. However, as we discussed at the work session, this is not your typical lot in Heihara. It's relatively large and deep. Um, some of the affected properties nearby are owned by the applicant. Um, but also wanted to point out again the large accessory building that's immediately behind the house. Um, if they were to attach that accessory building to the house, it becomes part of the house and therefore not included in the accessory building calculation. If they were to do that and trim off about, I think, six inches or eight inches off of the proposed building, um, they would keep within the 800 square feet maximum allowance. Um, so that is staff's recommendation. Um, beyond the point of recommending denial for the requested variance. Glad to answer any questions you might have. All right, are there any questions for the staff on the commissioners? Is that really closed? Yes. Mr. Blunden? Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Did you talk with uh, these folk about making this? <laughs> yes, sir, a couple times. Were they in agreement with this? But they are wanting to pursue the variance so they do not have to attach the existing building to the home. Mm. Okay, thank you. All right, Mr. Hall, do you have a no, question? No, that answered. Okay. Any other questions for the staff and the commissioners? There being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please approach the podium and give us your name and your address for the record. Accessory buildings existing. They are old, 
we plan to refurbish, upgrade, and <coughs> reside, refinish so that they will be compatible with the structure of the house. We have considered attaching the one larger building, which is close to the house, to the back of the house, as I have discussed with planning. However, it is our preference not to do that because it will change the, the character, the construction, the original arrangement that has been there for many, many decades. Instead, it is our choice to build a 24 by 24 two-part garage, as indicated by the cross hatches. We have elected to bank that up from the house so that there will be area in front of the garage for um, landscaping and design so the garage will really not be very usable. It is our sincere attempt to keep the house and the surroundings neat well constructed and in keeping with the area around. Now, the property just to the south is owned by my wife. The property behind the 506 area is railroad property. The property across the street, the seven plus acre field, is owned by myself. We have one neighbor to the north, and this lady is in agreement with our tax for the garage. We have documentation. <coughs> Surely our attempt is to upgrade the, the area, to make our property handsome, appealing and a place that will add to the beauty of the house. We plan to move there. That is going to be our permanent residence. And we plan to move shortly after we finish construction of the garage and repair the accessory building. I think that's probably all I have to say. Thank you, Eric. Is there any questions? Um, for the speaker from the commissioners. I had just <clears throat> one question. And, I, and, and really, I appreciate any time somebody refurbishes and upgrades. As you know, the, the, the Hay Hyder Ordinance is only allowed so much on you know, a certain size of property. Right. And, and you were given an out, but you chose not to not to do it. What, what, what was the, the rationale? Because you know, if this is allowed, and this is, you know, being an exception to the rule there in the city of Hay Harbor, then the next person, then the next person, then the next person, and then pretty soon you're the target of special treatment. And just, there would be no reason for ordinance that, that they just allow it. But give us something to, to hang, hang the, coat, the coat on, if you would. Surely, and I thought I had mentioned that, so I can make it clear. I'm not asking for special treatment and I will abide by whatever I'm told that I should do. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if there are certain things that we can do landscaping-wise or elsewise that will make this acceptable, if you just tell us, we will do. It is especially my wife's desire not to attach the existing building <coughs> to the house because it wasn't made that way. That is not the way Mr. Johnson did it 80 years ago, and it will change the, the flow of whatever that the roof lines to the house will be different at the back, and um, it, it just won't be the original structure that it was. You did make mention that there was two accessory buildings, but or Jason or Manor is is a portable shelter included in that, or is that is that in effect third building in the back? Yard? That's an extra building in the back, which I uh, he's had the understanding that it was not going to remain. Okay. It's simply just horrible thing. Um, it's really the three buildings in the center of the property, two existing and one. So, so you could not that's where the that's where the calculation is. 
So you're not you're not considering that uh, 340 to be in your calculations? Okay. All right. If there's no other questions. We appreciate it. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? There being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? I will now close the public participation portion on this request. The discussion is now open up to commissioners. No discussion, I will entertain a motion from the commissioners. Mr. Chairman, this is the right. Uh, this is this is a request for a variance. It's a deviation from, from the ordinance, and it's very specific that there has to be hardships. And I see no hardship. And I think there are alternatives that the applicant chose not to pursue. And therefore, I would make a recommendation that this request be denied. I'll second We have a motion and a second by Mr. Hall. Any discussion on this motion? <coughs> there being no discussion, um, all in favor, please indicate by raising your, your right hand. All opposed have the same right. All right, motion is um, where the motion actually passes for denial of this particular request. It was five, five to three, Mr. Chairman, so I count. Right. All right, the next 